Today I'll be taking an FM transmitter and I'm going to mount it outside for my display. I'm going to put it in one of these cases to protect it from the elements. The transmitter that I use is the Signtech um, ST05B. I've listed a different one in the description, um, but they're the same sizes, um, same inputs, same outputs, um, uh, basically the exact same thing, um, except the one in the description is just a little bit newer than the one I'm using. Here's some items that we're going to need. I'm going to take this XLR female panel mount. That's how we're going to populate the audio uh, to the outside of the box. And I'm also going to take this BNC panel mount. And that's how we're going to populate the antenna to the outside of the box. Um, so I don't want to keep my antenna on the inside of the box. I'm going to populate to the outside. Here's some adapters that we're going to need. And the reason I want to take the antenna and populate to the outside of the box is so that I can purchase any type of antenna for an FM transmitter. And 90% of the time, they're going to have a BNC connector on the end of it. And so if I wanted to move my antenna and put a longer distance away or mount it to the roof or anything I wanted to do, it's much easier to find a BNC cable and, uh, and, an, and an antenna than it is to find one of these TNC cables and TNC antennas. I like to use these Apache cases from Harbor Freight. This is an Apache 1800 case that we're going to put everything inside of. I made this uh, 3D template, and in this 3D template, um, it, it populates eight holes, um, actually populates nine holes with the power hole. Um, and so I use a punch to actually center punch everything out so that I can get them all evenly spaced and make it look nice. This first one um, is gonna be for a PG7, that's gonna be for your power cord that's gonna be coming in. I'm measuring the panel mount, the XLR female panel mount right now to make sure I get the right size, and it is, going to be a 7 8 inch hole and so I use a step bit um, to, to uh, make that hole with. The B and C is a little bit different that's going to be a 3 quarter inch hole and once again these are all center punched and so they're going to line up perfectly um, because of the template that I'm using. I just took a straight edge there just to line them up perfectly so they look great. Uh, once again, they're just dry fitted in there. I'm taking an eighth inch drill bit now and I'm gonna go ahead and drill those holes out. As you can see down in the bottom right there, I've mounted my PG7 and I'm about to take this uh, IEC cord. I cut the end off of it, slid on the collar of the PG7 and I'm gonna go ahead and put on an Edison end on the end of it. Now I'm using a Hubble 515R you can get these at any big box stores um, just to basically uh, bring the power into the box. And so this is the way I can turn it into Edison inside the box there. This is a, your typical eighth inch tip ring sleeve um, aux cord um, that I'm sure you have purchased to put in your car or to make your phones work or anything like that. Um, so I took one and cut it in half because I'm going to need one side uh, for the FM transmitter side, and I need the other side um, when I populate that um, for my Raspberry Pi because it's going to spit out the audio. We're going to transmit the audio through an XLR cable to the input of the FM transmitter. So the way the transmitter works, the input is an actual eighth inch um, tip ring sleeve end. So here, here's a picture of it there. So my tip, I'm going to make my left my ring, I'm gonna make my right, and the sleeve is the ground. I toned it all out so I know which cable colors are which, and so I wanna make sure that when I go and solder this onto the panel mount, that I'm soldering them into the, uh, the correct order here. Now on the panel mount, I'm using the one on the left because I have an XLR female. So my one is actually going to be my ground. My two, I'm going to make that my left. And my three, I'm going to make that my right. Slide a little bit of heat shrink over there and heat up the heat shrink. Dress it up just a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and dry fit that in there. And now I'm going to take these M4 fasteners and I'm going to go ahead and secure both these panel mounts onto the box. Okay. 
Okay, now that I've got everything dressed um, for the box, it's ready to start putting the transmitter in. I went ahead and kept the foam that comes with the case there. Could put a couple pieces down there. There's my TNC to BNC connector. And then I have this little BNC jumper to populate it to the connector that's mounted onto the box there. Made sure it all fit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure I'm transmitting to the correct FM channel. I'm gonna dress that cable up, dress it with the zip tie. And there we go. So now I'm gonna populate the antenna on the outside. Now this is the antenna that came with the transmitter. And uh, I went ahead and just used that because it's so close to, to the road where I'm uh, gonna be transmitting the signal to. Um, but once again, if you wanted to extend it, it's much easier to find a 50 ohm BNC cable and extend that to wherever you want it to go and uh, move your antenna anywhere you wanted it to, to live. I'm a big fan of labeling everything. So there's my audio input, which is on the right. And there's my 50 ohm antenna on the left. Everything fits nice and neat in this case. Fold it all up, put a zip tie on it, and we're ready to take it outside and install it. This is the finished product here. It's hanging on one of my other controllers that I built for my light show.